Hi everyone, I'm Robert Moody. I'm the music director of the Memphis Symphony Orchestra. We have one more set of concerts this season at the Halloran Center, which is down as part of the great Orpheum Complex in downtown Memphis. These concerts are happening on Thursday and Friday night. That's the 27th and 28th of May, a couple of nights just before Memorial Day weekend. This is part of our Orchestra Unplugged series, where we let our hair down a little bit, look under the hood of how music comes to be, and really enjoy sort of an out-of-the-box experience with live orchestral music. This concert would have been performed back in January on Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, but we postponed it at the time because of the spike in COVID cases. We've moved it to May. Now, thank God, we have a great prevalence of vaccines, vaccinated people. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. We will still offer you an incredibly safe and powerful concert experience here in late May. Three conductors have come together to work on this concert. Dr. Lawrence Edwards, who is the conductor of our Memphis Symphony Chorus, has selected a top small group of vocalists who will participate with us. Kalina Bovell, my amazing assistant conductor, will share the concert and conduct part of the concert, and I'll be conducting the rest of the concert. This music, the concert, is to celebrate the great contributions, the great power in art and culture uh, created by persons of color. We start with the uh, great painful but beautiful music of the old slave spiritual. Soon I will be done with the troubles of the world. Then we move to a great vocal setting by a modern uh, African-American composer, a setting of the great scripture John 3.16. After that, Samuel Barber's amazing Adagio for Strings. Then the key work on the program, Joel Thompson, living African-American composer, wrote a work a few years ago called The Seven Last Words of the Unarmed. It's a tough piece, it's a difficult piece. It takes you on a journey, there's no getting around it, but it leads to healing, it leads to catharsis. This is what I believe the most about music, that we have the power through live music to bring healing and bring people together in a way that I think nothing else does. If you wanna be part of that experience, then you can't miss this concert. By the way, we do have one last piece at the end. It's a great way to put an exclamation mark on the concert. It's a setting of glory, glory uh, made famous by John Legend and Common. So from Barbara Adagio to the old, early pre-Civil War spiritual to John Legend and Common. It's gonna be a great concert. I sure hope to see you there.